Hi guys, Mark Santos here. And in this video, I will show you how to use warp stabilization to stabilize your shot in Premiere Pro. Keep in mind that this will not stabilize your video in a gimbal-like stabilization, but it can make your videos a lot better, especially if you are shooting handheld. Let's get into the video. I have here a couple of video clips that we will stabilize. I already exported this video and that is the clip here on the right. I will play it first so that we can get a clearer playback. Notice that the video is shaky because I am recording this video handheld. To add our stabilization, go to Effects and search for Warp Stabilizer. Drag it to each clip where you want to apply this stabilization. Applying this effect might take time depending how long your video is or how much correction that it needs to apply to your clip. You can adjust with the values and experiment to get your desired results but in this video, I will just let the default effect which is applying 50% smoothness. Notice that after the stabilization takes effect, it will crop in your video a little to compensate for the adjustment that was made by the effect. So plan your shot and shoot your video a little wide. Now if ever that you have any clip that you adjusted the speed, just like what I have here because I have this video to play in reverse, you will get this warning that warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. To fix this problem, right click on the clip and select Nest. Press OK and after that you can apply the warp stabilizer. I will apply the effect to the rest of the clip and I will speed up the video. After you apply the effect, you can check out how it adjusted your videos in each clip because some videos might be too cropped in and you need to adjust the position and scale of your clip. I will export this video and I will play it to see the results. You may notice that there is a little warping happening at the video, specifically at the background. But still, this effect will make your videos a lot better. Now I will play the video side by side to see the difference. I will add my background music before I play the final video. And for that, I use Epidemic Sound as my source of background music and sound effects. They are giving a one month free trial so you can check them out and use it for your projects. And I will link it at the description below. And here is our final video with the background music. And that's it for this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you get something out from this. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn on the notification so that you will be notified every time I have a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.